Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tiffany and I'm an independent Sensi consultant from Ontario, Canada. Um, today we are actually going to do my warm review on the Find Your Happy collection. So if you haven't seen um, my cold review, I'll link it below for you. So this is the Find Your Happy collection. There's the wax and the bag that it came in. And it's really, really cute. Um, it just launched, I believe it is actually still available to purchase, and it's $33 Canadian. You can purchase it from my site if you are in the U.S. Just make sure that you switch your flag over to the U.S. and Bob's your uncle. So that is your find, um, your happy collection. So I was really excited about this collection, um, if, if you've seen my videos before, you'll know that I am relatively new um, to Sensi as a consultant and even as um, a customer, really, I've never um, branched out too much when I was a customer with Sensi. Um, and just recently I became a consultant. Anyway, long story short, I haven't really been able to experience a lot of um, collections or new scents. So this one was actually my second collection that I've experienced. My first one was the International Wax Collection. And I didn't do um, any YouTube videos on that because I actually wasn't making YouTube videos at the time. So this is the first one I've actually shared with you. All right, so without further ado, we will dive right in. So I took notes on um, warming them. And what I did was I tried to keep the amount of wax that I used the same as in um, and the same types of warmers or same size warmers. I don't have the same, too many of the same types of warmers, but I did use all large warmers um, in about medium size rooms. The only one I didn't or I wasn't able to warm in a medium size room was the barefoot and free. And I did have to warm it in my um, downstairs open concept like living room area, but that one actually performed well, but we'll get into that after. So we will start with First Kiss Fireworks. So this one, when I smelled it on cold, I didn't really smell very much um, happening with it. Um, I do smell some lemon a tiny bit of musk, but it's so light that it's very, very hard to pick up. I actually smell a little bit more than I did the other day. I smell it more today. Yeah. Um, I'm not a big fan of it um, on cold, but I did warm it. So I used three cubes in just a normal ceramic um, I think it was the one that came with my kit, actually, uh, warmer. And my thoughts on it were very light. Um, I can smell the musk when it's warming. I don't really pick up so much of the lemon um, note. So, because it says, pucker up with pink lemon, sweet red apple, and soft musk. So on warm, I didn't pick up any apple. On cold, no apple at all. Um, on on cold, I did pick up the lemon, but warming it, I definitely didn't. It was very, very light. Um, I had the bedroom, it was in my spare room. I had the door closed and even opening the door and walking in, I found it very hard to, to smell anything at all. I had to go up to the warmer. So this one, um, to me, was a flop. I was really excited for this one. I love drinking pink lemonade, so Maybe that's why I just thought that that's what it would um, smell like to me. So that is First Kiss Fireworks. I would not repurchase this. I did have this in my club. Um, I've recently taken it out. So disappointed in that one. The next one we have is Showered in Flowers. So this one, I thought I wouldn't like it. Um, when reading the scent notes before I actually purchased it. I'm not a big floral fan. I definitely don't like rose scents. Um, so I was not expecting to enjoy this one. And on cold, 
I, I really do enjoy this one. Um, it's a very sweet floral. I don't smell rose because it does say, follow a trail of rose petals to sweet jasmine and sun-kissed greens. I don't smell rose at all in this. Um, I could definitely smell the jasmine. Um, and the sun-kissed greens, I guess maybe a little bit me. I'm thinking that the sun-kissed greens is more of like a, the sweet note in it. But I, I really, really enjoy smelling this one. So I, I was excited to warm this. So I warmed this one in my bedroom in my um, element warmer, the aloe vera element warmer. It is my notes, medium to light, very pretty. Um, it would make a very good bedroom scent, which is why I chose to warm this in my bedroom. Um, when it was warming though, I picked up more of like a fruity note, which is funny because it doesn't really have fruit in the notes, but it, it was just very fruity floral and a very pretty. I, I very much enjoyed this. Um, I put this in my club and I'm definitely going to keep that in there for a little while um, and enjoy warming through the rest of it. So that is Showered in Flowers. Next we have Sunrise with Friends. So again, I've used three cubes out of all of them in a uh, larger size warmer. So Sunrise with Friends, it says soak in the moment with orange zest, coastal water, and ocean driftwood. I definitely get the ocean driftwood. That is the first thing I smell, that aquatic scent, um, when I when I smell it cold. I don't, I don't smell orange. There is definitely a citrus zest to it. I wouldn't say that it's orange. Um, and then, yeah, the coastal, coastal water. So I definitely get that fresh, um, aquatic, I guess citrusy scent from it. It's nice. It's, it's actually really nice. Um, warming it, I warmed it in my basement. Again, used three cubes. And this is a powerhouse. This I could smell upstairs, um, in my kitchen before I even walked downstairs. And I had the warmer, <clears throat> excuse me, further down my basement. So like this one is good. It's very, very fresh smelling. It made my basement smell beautiful. It was a powerhouse. It checked like all the boxes. It's it's different fresh. It's not like um like a laundry scent or anything like that. It's definitely nice. Um, I'm probably going to throw this one in my club as well, just to pick up a few bars of it. And I probably won't keep it in there too much because as, as much as I enjoyed it, it's probably not something I'm going to constantly reach for. So um, what else? Oh, so my husband, he doesn't smell as much as I do. I, I don't know how to word that. He won't smell things as strongly as, as I do. Which is great for me because I can get away with having a lot of warmers going at the same time and he won't even notice it. Um, but he smelled this before I even did. So that's how good this one is. I highly recommend this if you do like the citrusy, fresh type scents. So that is Sunrise with Friends. Next is Taste of Summer. So Taste of Summer. Oh, here you go. Sit back and relax with iced tea, lemon, and sparkling sugar. So on cold, the first thing I smell is, is the lemon. I don't smell sparkling sugar. It's, I guess like it's a little sweet, but not crazy sweet. Um, I smell a little bit more sweetness on the bottom. But this one is very, very nice on cold and on warm. Wow. Again, this one is also a powerhouse. I didn't smell the tea note so much on cold, but when it's warming, I had this going in my daughter's bedroom and it was in my little garden uh, element warmer. And holy cow, like her door, cause she's a teenager. So her door is always closed. 
when I was walking up the stairs, I could smell it in the stairway and in the hallway. And like, this is so good. It smells like authentic iced tea. It doesn't smell like that crap that you can buy at the stores, like the brisk iced tea or the, the nest tea or anything like that. This smells like something that was made from scratch. Like this is so pretty and I love it so much. I love iced tea and this just made me want to have iced tea. It is beautiful. Um, what else? Definitely a strong, um, definitely. I don't find that it's sweet at all. Um, like I said, it's more of authentic tea scent. Um, this is in my club. I will be keeping this in my club for a little while too. Um, yeah, like it <laughs> actually made my mouth water. It was so nice. So if you like like the, I guess it's, I guess it would be like a fruity scent, but if you like the authentic type scents, try this one out, put it in your club, give it a shot. I highly recommend it. So that is Taste of Summer. So last but not least, we have Wild Barefoot and Free. So this one I, again, was not expecting to like at all when I read the scent notes um, before I purchased the collection. Um, it has green notes in it. I'm not a fan of the earthy, woodsy, um, well, no, it's not true. I like woodsy scents, but like the earthy tree, pine, you know, those type of scents, grass stuff. So that's when I read this, that's exactly what I thought it was going to smell like was like when Bring Back My Bar came out with or came back with fresh cut grass. Um, I do not like that one whatsoever, not even a little bit. Um, so that's exactly what I expected from this one. When I smelled it, that is not at all what I got. Um, on first sniff of it, it literally smells like a bar of soap to me, like a men's soap. Um, it's very fresh. It definitely has some, um, some, oh my goodness like earthy tree notes and green notes in it. Um, I can pick that up. So, I mean, it's not like my favorite out of them, but I really don't, I really don't mind it at all. Um, so this says, throw caution to the wind with fresh air, fields of green and wild ivy. So on warming this, it just, again, was fresh. Um, very clean smelling. It's something that I would probably warm if I just like clean the house instead of like warming, say like squeeze the day or like a sun kiss citrus um, scent. I would warm this because it smells like clean, fresh, if um, just out of the shower, just cleaned the house type of scent. But at the same time, it has like a little bit of a sweetness to it, which I do enjoy. Um, and like a masculine note. That's what I wrote down masculine. Is this club worthy for me? No, um, because it still has the green notes in it. And you can definitely pick up on it. Um, I won't be putting this in my club, but it did perform very well. It was about a medium to light. And like I said, I had this, this baby was in my open concept and I could smell it. So in a medium size room, I, I would assume that it would probably be a, a medium to strong scent. So if you like the fresh green scents, definitely throw this one in your club, give it a shot. Um, and yeah, that's, that's that. So I want to know what your thoughts were on this collection. Um, if you watch my first video to now, my order has actually changed on what was my favorite and what was my least favorite. So my favorite now would actually be the Showered in Flowers. Um, I think that was my favorite though in the first one. So that stayed the same. But my second favorite is... Um, Taste of Summer. So that would be my second favorite. Uh, it's just that iced tea. I just love that smell so much. So these two are for sure in my club. Um, 
let me know what you've decided to put in your club and uh, what you thought of the video. So if you're new to my channel, make sure that you subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Bye.